Just days ago, I went down to the south to visit the kibbutzim, to visit the site of the music festival, to see reality with my own eyes, not just on a screen. And you walk around, and could you just put the image here? The image that Ohad talked about, there's a picture of it. And the question has to arise. How could we be so wrong? So wrong. The political establishment was wrong. The military establishment was wrong. The Shabak, the Mossad, all of the Modi'in, everyone wasn't just wrong. It's like peace now, flying flags to the people that killed them. How could we be so wrong? So the first thing, people need to go and visit the South as soon as possible. It should be like a march of the living for the Jews in Israel. Never again in Auschwitz is an important message for the people in Europe and maybe even in America, but never again here is far more urgent, far more relevant. But that begs to ask the question, how did we get it so wrong? And I think the answer is, and you can really see it also in the conference, 75 years, the only thing that matters has been absent. Um, it's the littlest word, but it means everything. For 75 years, Israel has been dedicated to building a godless state with peace now. God is absent. And without God, there will never be peace, not now and not ever. <laughs> did we really think, did our leaders really think, a Palestinian state, that we were going to make a move that is in total contradiction to the Torah after the Jewish people have returned to this land after 2,000 years and we were going to be successful? Did we really think that we would do something that's in total denial of the vision that the prophets gave us that's absolutely in contradiction with the commands of the Torah and we were somehow going to bear fruit of success and prosper with such a move? Obviously not. It was the opposite of the truth. It's the exact wrong. Why? Because the fundamental paradigm that the, that the modern state of Israel sees the world through is warped. They're constantly worried about peace now. We don't want peace now. We want peace forever. Can we just show that sign, please? And that will only happen be'emunah shlema. When we have enough faith to stand alone against the nations, to do what's right, what's moral, and what's true, to stand alone because we stand with God. Until we bring God into this conversation, we will never be successful. <laughs>